up getting thermal paste on your CPU pins or if you have a CPU like this one on your contact pads and you can even see I even put some thermal paste right there on the power chokes I'm going to show you guys how to do this how do you get that stuff off now the first thing is they do make some chemicals <clears throat> they make an A and B solution and that's what you actually use to clean the thermal paste off of the uh, CPU so the first thing that you're going to need is you're going to need some rubbing alcohol All right. and the next thing you will need is a toothbrush this is the scrub the contacts and the pads and stuff and then you're going to need one more item you need like a small little tub of wear dish something like this perfect and what you do is you take a little alcohol and you f you're going to put a pretty good amount of it in there. I'd say about that much. Enough to cover the CPU. And you take the CPU and you just put it in the alcohol like that. The longer you soak it, the better. But you cannot soak it for longer than a week. I mean, three days is about right. I mean, you, you can soak it as long as you want, but I mean, it's not going to hurt it. It's just alcohol. But eventually what will happen is, is this alcohol will evaporate and then you're going to get left with like this sticky residue behind you and you don't want to go through that crap. So just kind of leave it in here like that for a few days and we will, we'll pick it up in a day or two. Okay, so it's been, I don't know, let's say two days, maybe, day and a half. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and take this out. A paper towel would probably be a good idea also. Because you're going, once the thermal paste transfers to the toothbrush, you're going to have to take the toothbrush and rub it back on something to get it off. Uh, like a paper towel or something like that. Put a little more alcohol on the brush, and then we're just going to do it real softly in there until we get all that out. Alright, so that is basically good. Now let's just see how well of a cleaning job I actually did. I had to turn all the lights off. So this right here is a UV flashlight and we're going to run it over to see if I've missed any because it will come up like a dark gray spot on it and it looks good. So yes, that one is nice and clean, good to go. As you can see, there's no spots on it or anything. Here, let me show you what it would look like if there was thermal paste on it. Turn that light back on real to the CPU, and then we're going to turn the light off. Okay, and then I'm going to show you. See? It comes up like a nice dark blob. Very noticeable. Even if you were to wipe it clean with like your finger, like that. Okay. See how it leaves that purple residue? You can see it, maybe not on camera, but you can definitely see it because all of your contact pads are like a black gold. And then when the UV light hits where the thermal paste is, it's like a purplish dark color. So you can definitely see that, but this is what you would want to use a uh, UV light. If you don't have a UV light, I mean, you can always get one. They're super cheap. But I just use a UV light to uh, double check my work. Now let's go into something a little bit harder. What if your CPU has pins? So you just want to take your alcohol and your brush. You 
want to hold your pen, but I prefer down and away because we want that thermal paste off. We don't want to spread it. So when you go to do this, you, you go down with it. But as you can see, I just made one pass and it's already almost off, but I can still see that there's some on top there. And we want to try to get our brush clean as possible because if you don't, if your brush isn't clean, you'll just reapply the crap, the thermal paste back to your CPU. And you don't really want to do that. And then you can just take the brush and don't put any pressure on it, but just very lightly go like that. Just do it very lightly. Up any more right there. And then we can check it with the UV light. See if I see any. Let me turn that off. Um, I don't know. Do you guys see any? It looks clean to me. Now, if you stick this in your computer and it doesn't work, then you need to pull it back out and clean it. But you want to try, even if it looks clean. You want to clean it again because once you put this CPU in there, especially one with pins, um, it will touch the inside of the contact pad of your motherboard and that will be a real pain to clean out. But yes, that right there was a success. Very cool. So yes, that is how you guys get thermal paste off of your CPUs because I know it happens you accidentally doing something and thermal paste will end up on these pads dry like wiping it away with a paper towel won't do it you gotta physically scrub it off and then if you have pins you have to do it even softer because pins will bend and break so if you guys liked it make sure to leave me a like and I appreciate you guys watching how to get thermal paste off the of CPU we did it we did hit over 200 guys over 200 subscribers I'm happy about that one um, so yeah and then the next one that we're gonna do is we're gonna see if rice really does pull water out of a phone if you drop it in water so that will be our next video that we're going to do so leave me a like subscribe you guys be cool and peace